Keeping up with today's fast-paced world can be difficult. Accelerate your life with iFiber Communications high-speed internet. Surf, stream, and game like never before. Give us a call at 509-754-2600 and find out more at iFiber.tv. Ever since the Steel Vikings joined the CWAC about 10 years ago, their softball team has bullied the Afraid of Tigers. The Tigers have never beaten the Vikings since they joined the CWAC, and in most cases, Sela would be the Freda via Mercy Rule. The losing streak was ended in spectacular fashion on Thursday night when the Tigers swept the Vikings in a doubleheader. The first game, the Tigers gave the Vikings a taste of their own medicine when they beat them via Mercy Rule 13-3 in six innings. The second game was a win for the Tigers, but was a much harder victory. The Vikings led for the majority of the game after scoring two runs in the first inning. The Tigers came from behind to score two runs in the bottom of the sixth inning, both with pitcher Jocelyn Eisen at the plate. Eisen proved she had ice running through her veins when she hit the go-ahead RBI, then turned around and struck out two batters in the top of the seventh, ultimately leading her team to a 4-3 victory in the second game. It's almost like I'm used to it at this point. You have to train for that kind of stuff to actually do it. And so in practice we do situations and stuff and that translates into the game and that's how you have to win games. As the final home game, it was also senior night, but there was only one senior on the team, Paige Davis. It felt really good, especially since this is my last like time on this field. And this is the first time we've uh, beat Sela, let alone 10 run them in the last 10 years. So that was good. The Tigers finished 11-2 in league play, good enough to finish as the number two seed, and 18-2 on the season. East Valley of Yakima will play Ellensburg on Friday night in the final day of league play. If Ellensburg wins one of the two games, then the Freda and East Valley will end as co-league champions. But the Tigers will remain the number two seed. If Ellensburg sweeps East Valley, then the Freda would finish as the outright league champs and be the number one seed. Either way, the Tigers will avoid the first two rounds of the CWEC tournament and will next play on Saturday at 1 p.m. in the CWEC semifinals at Carlin Park in Sela. I'm Adam Chikoski for iFiber One Sports.